Welcome to configuring IBM InfoSphere Optum Open Data Manager in Microsoft Windows. This video shows how to configure Optum Open Data Manager, or ODM, in a Microsoft Windows environment and how to test that the configuration is successful. ODM allows you to access data in Optum archive files and archive file collections. Archive data is valuable for analysis and reporting purposes even after the data is purged from your production database. For this reason, you may want to provide access to certain archive data. ODM uses ANSI SQL 92 grammar and ODBC and JDBC standards-based interfaces. Optum Connect, a feature of the Optum Data Growth Solution, provides ODBC and JDBC drivers to access the archive data. While this video demonstrates how to configure ODM in Windows, you can also install and configure ODM on the Unix platforms that Optum supports. This video assumes that you've installed ODM as part of your Optum installation and that you've loaded the Optum sample database tables. You should be familiar with the Optum solution, the Optum directory, and archiving concepts such as archive files and archive file collections. The archive files and archive file collections that you want ODM to access must be registered in an Optum directory and accessible from the ODM server. Your archiving strategy will depend on your business needs and will determine when you create an archive file or an archive file collection. For example, you can use an archive file when you are archiving a specific amount of data one time, such as when you are decommissioning an application. You can use a collection to organize archive data that you will continue to add to on a regular basis and need to access for historical purposes. A collection will allow you to view a union of the archive data in one ODM connection without having to access multiple individual archive files. You should also be familiar with the Microsoft Windows environment. In this video, we will configure ODM using Optum Connect 5.3.2. At the end of this video, you will be able to configure ODM in a Windows environment and run SQL queries against the archive file data. After you've installed ODM, you will perform these tasks to configure ODM. First, you'll add the ODM server machine to Optum Connect Studio. This task identifies the location of the ODM server that you want to configure. Next, you'll define data sources for the archive files and archive file collections you want to access. You'll edit the Windows Workspace Server to have ODM run in single client server mode. This task helps provide better performance in accessing archive data, which is in files rather than a database. And you'll edit the ODM server code page. If the archive files you want to access contain UTF-8 encoded data, you must configure ODM to support UTF-8 encoding to avoid translation errors. Finally, you'll test the data source configuration to be sure you can access the archive files and archive file collections you defined. To configure ODM, you'll start by adding the ODM server machine to Optum Connect Studio. From the Start menu, click All Programs, IBM Optum Connect, Optum Connect Studio. From the Workspace Launcher window, select a Workspace folder. Click OK. The Design Optum Connect Studio window opens. Click Design Perspective on the Start Here page. In the Configuration view, right-click Machines and select Add Machine from the menu. The Add Machine window opens. In the Machine Group box, enter the host name, IP address, or local host to identify the machine hosting the ODM server. You can use the default port, 2551. In the Connection Group box, enter the username and password to connect to the machine. If anonymous logon is allowed, you can leave these fields blank. Click Finish. Note that the ODM server machine is listed under Machines with the bindings, daemons, and users folders. Next, you'll define a data source for each archive file or archive file collection you want ODM to access. 
In the Design Optum Connect Studio window, Configuration View, Expand Machines. Expand the ODM server you defined in the Add Machine window. Then expand Bindings. Right-click Nav and select Open as XML from the menu. The Nav Binding Editor opens. Click the Source tab, if it isn't already selected, to display the data source definition as XML. Notice that a default definition for Nav Demo already exists. You can copy and edit this definition, but keep the original Nav Demo statements. To define a data source, you must enter attributes for the data source and config elements. First, let's define a data source for an archive file collection. In the data source element, name attribute, enter a name that represents the archive file collection. For example, you can enter customers collect. In the type attribute, enter the data source driver. For ODM, the driver must be PST underscore GDB. In the config element, enter the collection attribute with the fully qualified name of the archive file collection. For example, enter sample.custcollect. Although this video does not show them, you can use other attributes to identify the specific archive files in a collection that you want to access. For example, you can specify the archive files by name, a file creation date range, or a range of archive file IDs. Enter the DIRDB attribute with the name of the Optima directory in which the archive file collection is registered. For example, enter OptumDIR. Next, let's define a data source for an individual archive file. You can copy and edit the collection definition you just entered. In the data source element, name attribute, enter a name that represents the archive file. For example, you can enter customers. Again, in the type attribute, enter the data source driver PST underscore GDB. In the config element, enter the archive file attribute with the fully qualified name of the archive file. For example, customers.af. The archive file attribute is the simplest way to identify an archive file. However, you can also enter the archive file GUID attribute or the archive file ID attribute. Again, enter the DIRDB attribute with the name of the Optum directory in which the archive file is registered, Optum Dir in this example. When you complete all the required entries, click File, Save All. Next, you'll configure the ODM server to run a separate process for each connected user account. To do this, you'll edit the Windows Workspace server to run in single client server mode. In the Design Optum Connect Studio window, Configuration View, Expand Machines. Then expand the ODM server you defined in the Add Machine window. Expand Daemons and IRPCD. Right-click Navigator and select Open from the menu. The Navigator Workspace Editor opens. Note that Navigator is the default workspace. If other workspaces exist, you will have to set them to single client also. Click the Server Mode tab to open the Workspace Server Mode page. In the Workspace Server Mode list, select Single Client. Click File, Save All. In the Daemon Configuration Change window, click Yes. ODM translates archive data to match the code page for the workstation on the ODM server. If the archive files you want to access contain UTF-8 encoded data, you must configure ODM to support UTF-8 encoding. 
To do this, you will edit the ODM Server code page. In the Design Optum Connect Studio window, Configuration View, Expand Machines. Expand the ODM server you defined in the Add Machine window, then expand bindings. Right click Nav and select Open from the menu. The Nav binding editor opens. On the Environment tab, expand the Language Settings section. From the Language list, select a language. From the Code Page list, select UTF-8. Note that the NLS string field also contains UTF-8. Clear this field. Click File, Save All. To test that ODM can successfully access the archive file or archive file collection that you defined as the data source, you will use the NavUtil command line utility that is part of Optum Connect. The NavUtil utility is an administrative tool that you can use to verify a data source. You will use the execute command to test data connections and SQL statements. To start NavUtil, from the Start menu, click All Programs, IBM Optum Connect, Command Line Console. In the console, be sure that you are in the installation location for Optum Connect. Type NavUtil Execute, followed by a data source name you defined earlier. For example, enter NavUtil Execute Customers Collect. At the NAV SQL prompt, you can query tables in the archive file collection using an SQL statement. For example, enter the list tables statement to see a list of the tables in the archive file collection. You can also get a count of the rows in one of the tables, for example, Optum Customers. In another test, you could use a join statement. For example, the Optum Sales and Optum Customers tables are related by Salesman ID. To see the top 10 salespeople in terms of number of customers assigned to each, you can enter these statements. The utility responds with the top 10 salespeople. Now that you've successfully tested your data source, enter quit to exit NavUtil. Thank you for watching this video on configuring ODM. For more information on this topic and other ODM topics, see the Optum Solutions Information Center. Also, you can refer to the IBM Optum Connect user guide and reference that's delivered with your Optum installation.